Hyundai has just announced a clutchless gearbox. Something remarkable. In it. It's called the IMT. Nope, we're not talking about people with conventional manual gearbox who just don't bother using the clutch and shove it into neutral and down a gear, in which case you're an absolute chad. This new gearbox will be featured on the Hyundai Venue and the Kia Sonnet, available for the Indian market. The IMT is not an automatic, it's not a manual, it's a hybrid. So for conventional automatic gearbox, for example, a DSG gearbox, you shove in drive, you put in manual, you just go and go through the gears with a lever, but the thing is, the gear knob is not physically connected to the clutch. Basically, it's a joystick. You're using joystick going through gears. I mean, I've once tried locking it in fifth, going up a hill, and the gearbox just decided to do its own thing. It kicks down to second. So, really, it's not helping. It's an automatic gearbox. Whereas for this, you can always lock in the gear that you like. And really, there are two types of people who would be rejoiced by the clutchless experience. Number one, people who are tired of going that, like repeating that one, two, one, two movement in traffic. So we're talking about people living in severely congested cities like Mumbai, Hong Kong, London, maybe New York. Not sure about Americans because they love automatics. Um, but really, I feel like people who would, who would opt for one of these rather than an automatic or a traditional manual gearbox would be the sort of person who embraces the caffeine lifestyle by drinking decaf coffee and claims that they have seen the spiritist side of them. Uh, anyways, second type of people who would be interested in one of these would be people who love taking it to the max between gear changes. I mean, back when I was learning, I was driving a diesel, I was driving a diesel Peugeot 308 1.6, and that's that one time I put in in fourth as I was going up a hill, one to eight. It was literally like driving on the surface of the moon, but I floored it, so I got up there all right. Whereas my driving instructor wasn't entirely happy. I gave him a pat around the back being like, it's all right, mate, I've got this. But yeah, you can lock in gears however you like. Going uphill in sixth, if you want it, on top gear. But this is not the first time that car manufacturers decide to remove the clutch for a manual gearbox. Saab has done it before. In fact, they had something called the Saab Sensonic Gearbox. And in fact, James May from Old Top Gear and the current Grand Tour famously did a public stunt by reversing uphill into parking space. In which case he was successful, in a way, because the problem is, for a, Saab, for a Sensonic Gearbox or a clutchless gearbox, the clutch and the biting point is electronically controlled. You don't know for 100% each time that it is engaged. So you're left being like, you put in gear for too long, clutch disengages. It means that you roll back and forth. Or worse still, if you're uphill, you stick it in reverse for a normal automatic car, it creeps back. Or a normal stick shift, you just fit in your throttle and your clutch simultaneously and it goes back, the device gravity. Whereas for a Sensonic gearbox, it just simply rolls down the hill. But maybe with modern day technology, like hill start assist, which might hold you in place for like three seconds, it might work. I have no idea. Anyways, thanks for watching. If this video it's gone viral on Instagram. I might consider putting it on YouTube. Check me out on YouTube, Cheeky and Culture. That's my channel name. And follow me on Instagram. 
to keep up my car content. Anyways, you have been cheekily cultured. Till next time, take care.